Hey guys, Altitude Capitalist here with a quick review of a ninth floor suite at the Gaylord Hotel National Harbor. Let's go. So we, uh, we got this suite instead of two adjoining rooms. It's definitely a better value uh, for families to get a suite here than two rooms together. And as you come in the door, there's a nice size closet, pretty standard ironing board, safe, extra linens in here. Coming through the hall to a standard uh, coffee setup. I'm not a big coffee drinker, so didn't really drink much of this, but we did use the heck out of these every time that the room got cleaned. Four more of those showed up. Uh, this leads us into the living room. It's a good full-size living room. TV has all your standard cable TV channels. It also has Netflix, but you need to log into Netflix with your own account, which is fine. This is the uh, sofa. This is a fold out sofa into a uh, queen size bed. Plenty of room to pull it out and room to walk around once it's extended. So that's a nice feature of the room. Uh, this is a side view. Down here is uh, walkable. Lots of restaurants uh, down in the vicinity of the National Harbor, which is less than a quarter mile from right here and it adjoins the property as well. Here's the work area, just, just a, a desk and a lamp. This is a full-size dining room. We're really happy with the dining room. We use this for, uh, for working. We didn't need any meals here, but definitely room for a couple people to put their, uh, get their laptops out, get notebooks out, do whatever work, Zoom meetings you need to do while you're, while you're here on your trip. Uh, just a cabinet. It's kind of a neat little artistic thing in the U.S. flag, keeping with the uh, national capital uh, decorating scheme. Here's a view from uh, behind the dining room. You can see the, uh, well, I can see the Washington Monument out there. Kind of tough to get on the telephone camera, but there it is. And uh, that's the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. And right there is a Ferris wheel. It's, uh, they tried to do something like the London Eye. It's a lot smaller than the London Eye. It's, um, we rode it a couple nights ago. We wanted to do it at night, hoping that we could see some cool stuff uh, down near the monuments. Really the only monument you can see is the Washington Monument. Uh, we've got a, uh, a $22 resort fee at this hotel. And uh, there, there's a few things you get with it. it. I think it's a decent value. First of all, for each night you have a ticket to uh, to that uh, Ferris wheel and those tickets are 20 some dollars each if you walk up to the Ferris wheel and buy them yourself So if you spend four nights here, you got a family of four You know, you can visit the Ferris wheel for free, which which is what we did. This was that was pretty cool uh, High-speed internet in the room. We uh, Were prompted with several different options a free option and then some uh, some pay options that allegedly had higher speed. We just went with the free options and they were, um, we had no problem viewing videos with that. So don't, don't take the upcharge for the faster internet service. You don't need this. You get $18 worth of dry cleaning a day. Uh, we did not use that. I did not see a dry cleaning schedule here. Uh, probably wouldn't have used it anyway if we were allowed. It mentioned the, uh, the water bottles that I showed you earlier as a benefit from the resort fee and, and a couple other random things. There's a 24 hour fitness center. Uh, there's a swimming pool that you have access to as well. Uh, here's the bedroom. You know, you got a standard hotel bedroom here. The, uh, the sheets are basically a sheet with one of these things in the middle, like a quilt in the middle, then another sheet underneath it to, to create the, uh, the comforter for lack of a better term. But this has a television as well. Uh, it's a good sized bedroom. There's plenty of room beside the, uh, on either side of the bed uh, for you to get out and get around without, uh, without stepping on something or stubbing your toe. Here's the bathroom. Um, it, it's a nice bathroom, uh, double sink. You get uh, soap and, and, and body lotion there. The, uh, the shower has these uh, squirt bottles for the uh, for the the shampoo and the body wash and the conditioner as well. It's regular toilet in here. It's kind of tight quarters in the bathroom. 
I thought this was kind of tough. The shower door opens towards you. This door opens towards you. So um, not the most spacious bathroom, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty much it. So those are the uh, the high points of the Gaylord National Harbor. Uh, we earlier this year we were at the Gaylord in Denver. We live in Denver, but we just went there as, on a vacation. Uh, Andrew, do you want to uh, compare the Gaylord in Denver to the Gaylord in DC? Like Gaylord, what do you think? The Gaylord in Denver is better. Why do you think the Gaylord in Denver is better? The Gaylord is mainly for adults. The Gaylord is mainly for adults. Okay. Uh, are there more fun things for kids to do in Denver? Yeah. What are the fun things at the Gaylord in Denver that you like better? That you wish they had here. Pool. Better pool. Okay. All right, um, so there you have it. Uh, coming from an eight-year-old, the Gaylord in Denver is better than this, but this absolutely met our needs for the few days that we were here.